Hi friends, welcome all to Star Arts Academy. Fine, in this video, we are going to learn about cell biology. Cell, the very word make you to understand is a structural and functional unit of life. This definition you might have observed in textbooks. But my dear friends, my humble request is, biology is not the science to be studied. It's a science to be visualized. It's a science to be enjoyed, right? So let us enjoy biology together. Come on. Fine. In this video, we are going to learn a cell by imagining it. Come on, let us imagine. My dear friends, look at this picture. Okay. I have kept a dot. Imagine this dot in your mind. Why I ask you to imagine again and again? Because as per Albert Einstein, we have said that imagination is more important than knowledge. I repeat again, imagination is more important than knowledge. Right. When you imagine a dot, okay, this dot, now we are going to imagine by cutting into 1000 equal pieces. Hope you have done it. Yeah, cut into 1000 equal pieces. Okay, now 1000 pieces of dots were there. In that 1000 piece, take a piece and cut again into 1000. Okay, finally we got a very very minute dot which can't be visualized by eyes. Only we can imagine. Right. Now let me give the description of it. Okay. We have kept a dot, right? The dot is around 10 power minus 3 meter. What I'm trying to say, it's a millimeter. If you take a scale and measure, it will be a small millimeter. Okay. When we are cutting that millimeter size dot into 1000 pieces, okay, that is 10 power minus 3 by 1000 gives 10 power minus 6 meter. This is called micrometer. Hope this might have been familiar for you. This micrometer means the size of a bacteria. Yeah. That's the reason bacteria is called as microorganism, not only bacteria, virus, fungus, like yeast, all the organisms are called microorganisms because they are the size of a micron or less than a micron, right? And you also can assume the instrument to visualize this microorganism is called microscope, right? Okay, we can imagine till now, but I have asked you to imagine further, right? Take that uh, uh, thousandth dot and cut into further thousand. Yeah, again we can formulate it. See, this 10 power minus 6 by 1000 gives 10 power minus 9 meter called nanometer. Okay, this nanometer is the size of a DNA. DNA is none other than deoxyribonucleic acid. The blueprint of your forefathers. Yes, hope you might have feared in your home, your eyes are looking like your mom, sorry, grandma. Yes, or your ears are looking like my great great grandfather. How their properties have came to you? It's all because of DNA, the DNA present in the chromosomes, right? So we can discuss about this detailing in further videos. So stay tuned with Starrets for further, further videos. Okay. Okay, fine. In this video, we, as we are discussing about cell, cell, you might have imagined, right? Okay. Now let us go by, as per NCRT books, cell is divided into two major types, prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. Okay. The very word prokaryote you should understand by splitting the words. This technique is called etymology. What do you mean by etymology, my dear friends? If you refer the dictionary, it will give study of origin of words. Okay. Now let us learn the study of origin of prokaryote. Split the word pro and carry on. The pro stands for primitive. The word carry on stands for nucleus. Similarly, if we take a eukaryote, eu stands for true. Carry on stands for nucleus. This is primitive nucleus. That is called true nucleus. What do you mean by primitive nucleus? Okay. Primitive nucleus is a very primitive form as their name itself suggests. Okay. The precursor form. So those nucleus doesn't have any nuclear membrane. How can, how you can come back? See, look at this room. This room can be called as room only because of the walls. If there is no wall. We can't say as a room, right? The same way nucleus is not called as nucleus is not called as a proper nucleus until that it has a nuclear membrane. It only called as nucleoid. So plasma membrane is present and the nuclear membrane is absent in the case of bacteria. That's why it's called nucleoid. That's why it's called prokaryote. In the case of eukaryote, they have the proper nuclear membrane, right? These are the terms you might know. Then these eukaryotic cells are further divided into plant cell and animal cell. We can learn about these plants and animal cells in the further videos. So my dear friends, stay tuned with Star Academy for further videos. Thank you. You might have enjoyed the class. Thank you.